We approach the Medla refugee camp in a soft but steady rain. Heavy clouds partially obscure the top of the mountains behind the camp. Beyond those mountains lies Burma. The first lady was greeted at Mela by teenage refugees performing a traditional Burmese dance, a dance from a country most have never seen. Almost all of the 16,000 students at the camp were born there, and so were some of their parents. They live in Limbo in Mela, the largest of nine refugee camps on the Thai-Burmese border. Official reports put the population at the camp at anywhere from 38 to 40,000. Unofficial tallies put the total much higher. You know, it's a tragedy. These are people who would much rather be in their own homes, who love their country and want to be uh, with their families in their own country. There are so many children in Mela that there are 26 schools. They are built simply with earthen floors and waist-high walls of bamboo. At an English class, Mrs. Bush looked on as teenage boys wrote their thoughts on a chalkboard. One wrote, my life in refugee is better than Burma, but I don't have opportunity to go outside of my camp. Man Tun Tun is one of the refugees who sits on the governing council. He says everyone yearns for home, but there is no way they can return while the military runs Burma. He urged Mrs. Bush to help those who want to leave the camps and resettle elsewhere. Our dream is we want to go home. But uh, there's no peace and democracy in Burma. It's impossible to go home. People who work with the refugees at Mela often refer to them as stoic. There is no electricity here and no running water. But there is a belief that it is possible to build a better life. Mrs. Bush spent time at the camp with refugees at various stages of the resettlement process. Some are taking lessons to prepare themselves for living in different cultures. Others are packing their belongings and saying their goodbyes. The international community is concerned about the people there and that we want them, uh, we want to encourage them to uh, be able to build their country. Menla Camp has been in existence since 1984 when it began as a small settlement of ethnic Karen Burmese escaping violence in their homeland. About 45 minutes away is another border institution born of the need to help Burmese refugees and migrants, the Mehtao Clinic. Mrs. Bush toured the medical facility before leaving the border region and left crates of donated supplies, including thousands of mosquito bed nets to help prevent malaria, a serious health hazard in the region. Paula Wolfson, VOA News, Bangkok.